so hi everyone i am jay and today we are going to see the difference between the memory map io and io map io before going to see that let's see first if i want to interface memory with the microprocessor how i can do that so to interface memory with the microprocessor i need different buses and some control signals the buses will be address bus and data bus and the control signal will be memory read and memory write if i want to connect input output device with the microprocessor again i need some buses and control signal so bus will be address bus and the data bus which is the same as the memory interfacing but the control signal will be different which is input output read and input output write now suppose in the case of memory interfacing we are executing one instruction that is lda0020h now let's see how microprocessor executes lda0020h so to perform this instruction the processor will first send the address using the address bus so processor will send the address to the memory 0020h in the memory that particular address will be selected after that microprocessor will send the control signal which is memory read when memory receives the control signal memory read the data which is stored in the selected location will be transferred using the data bus to the microprocessor it means the data will be transferred from the memory location to the microprocessor suppose in the case of input output interfacing we are executing one instruction that is in ath if we are executing in ath the first step that microprocessor will perform that is it will send the address using the address bus so processor will send the port address which is 80 when processor send the port address that particular port will be selected so you can see that the input device will be selected after the input device is selected microprocessor will generate control signal that is input output read and when microprocessor sends the control signal and when input device receives the control signal the data will be transferred from the input device to the microprocessor using the data bus now let me ask you one simple question what if we replace memory with the input device will microprocessor know that we have changed the memory with the input device so the answer is no microprocessor does not know that we have changed the input device with the memory what i am trying to say is you can still connect input device using the control signal which is dedicated for memory you can connect the input device using the control signal which is memory read and memory write and when you connect the input device using the control signal memory read and memory write that is known as memory map io and if you connect input device using the control signal which is io read and io write it means it is known as io map io so what is the meaning of memory map io and io map io memory map io means that we are treating the input output device as a memory because we have connected the memory related control signal to the input output device so we are treating the input output device as a memory and io map io it means we are treating the input output device as input output device we have connected the input output device using the control signal which is io read and io write so this is the basic concept of the memory map io and the io map io now let's quickly see the difference between these two in the memory map io the address of the input output device will be 16 bit long and for the io map io the address of the input output device will be 8 bit long if you have connected the input output device using the memory related control signal you can use different instructions such as lda and hta so all the memory related instruction can be used in the case of memory map io in the io map io only two instruction can be used that is in and out which are dedicated for the input output operations in the memory map io you can interface 65536 input output devices because 2 raised to 16 that is a possibility that you can connect with the microprocessor in the io map io you can connect 2 raised to 8 it means 256 input output devices 
you know that for the memory map IO, the memory read and memory write control signal is needed. And for the IO map IO, the IO read and IO write control signal is needed. For the memory map IO, the input output device is considered as memory that we just discussed, right? And for the IO map IO, the input output device is treated as input output device. And this is the difference between the memory map IO and IO map IO. And I think this is the end of this session. If you still have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much.